We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hey, guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun, too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Terry and the Pirates. Well, Christmas Day came to a surprising climax at the log cabin near Min Chow in the Kunlun Mountains of China. Yes, just as our friends were settling down to a nice, quiet afternoon and Chinese Christmas dinner... Who should walk in but the dragon lady and her sidekick, Mr. Keel? They were able to hold the upper hand, and soon Kennington Hook was released. Then the dragon lady asked for the precious gas formula papers. If she didn't get them, she said she would take Dr. Moy Ben away in her airplane. Well, all this was overheard by Terry and April, who decided to do something about it. We'll join them on today's transcribed adventure in just a moment. Terry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Pineapple Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. If you boys and girls are the live wires I think you are, you like variety and change. And that goes for things you eat as well as things you do. Somehow, at lots of folks' houses, breakfast always seems to be pretty much the same, and that gets boring. Now, if you'd like something different for breakfast, just do this. Just ask your mother to get Libby's Hawaiian Pineapple Juice. Believe me, boys and girls, you'll be glad you did. And what's more, your mother and your whole family will be keen about Libby's Pineapple Juice. You see, this pineapple juice is pressed from fruit that ripened on the plants. It's the natural juice of field-ripe pineapples, the most refreshing drink you can imagine. Exactly right to have first thing in the morning. And boy, oh boy, does it taste swell. Glorious is the word for its flavor. Now, when you suggest having Libby's pineapple juice for breakfast, your mother might ask you this. She might say, uh, how about vitamins? Because she knows vitamins are mighty important. So just make a note of this. Libby's Hawaiian pineapple juice is a good source of vitamin C and of vitamin B1. Now, don't forget, right after this program... Ask your mother to get Libby's Pineapple Juice. L-I-B-B-Y-S. Libby's. And now, Terry and the Pirates. And now let's join Terry and April King. They overheard what the dragon lady threatened to do. And Terry whispered to April, They said they landed their plane not far from here. Come on, we'll go there and do something in the plane so it can't take off. Then we'll have a chance of catching Hawk again and Keel and the dragon lady. Come on, let's go out the back way before anybody thinks to look. Not so fast, Terry. I'm, I'm all out of breath. So am I, but we haven't much time, and I don't know exactly where that plane is. The dragon lady's awful smart, isn't she? I mean, coming here like this. And Mr. Hook was one of her own men, too. Oh, I think that's just disgusting. He was so handsome. Well, you can't go by looks these days, April. Say, there's a plane. See it down there? Boy, that was a swell landing in that small space. Well, what are we going to do when we get there, Terry? I don't know exactly, but let's stop here a second and see if anybody's guarding the ship. Don't see anybody. Do you? No, the coast is clear. Yeah, we'll be out in the open when we reach the plane. There'll be no place to hide. Oh, dear, I'm so nervous. You want to stay here among the trees and wait for me? No, I'll go with you. But why do people always upset me so? Come on. I'm just so mad at people falling everything. Say, this is some plane. 
Well, the motor's still warm. They could take off in 30 seconds. It's so big. How are you going to break it up? Well, let's see. If I can get at the engine, I'll climb up here on the wing and see if I can raise the cowling, or I might be able to break the magneto or cut off the gas line. Seems a shame to ruin a lovely plane like this, Terry. I haven't done it yet. Couldn't you just let the gasoline out or let the air out of the tires? Or... I can't raise this engine cover alone. It's snapped on too tight. Well, maybe I can put the instrument board on the fritz. Hey, look out. Boy, that just skimmed my ear. Oh, now what? We just got here. Hey, get over here. Shot came from that direction where the cabin is. We'll put the plane between us and... Say, this is a mess. Somebody's trying to pop us off. Who's shooting, Terry? I don't know, but I can guess. It's either keel or hook. What do we do? We're too late to do anything now. Let's back away. We can keep the plane between us and them. No place to stay and get shot. And they mean business. Well, this is better. At least we've got some trees to hide behind. There's somebody coming from the other side. See? Yeah, he's got a rifle. It's heel, I can tell by that military walk. Let's stay down out of sight. He's looking this way. Now he's going to shoot. And he hasn't seen us back here. He's just shooting to scare us off. God, God, no luck. He must have settled things in a big hurry up there at the cabin. Yes. Here comes Mr. Hook and the dragon lady. And just the three of them. Well, I guess they got the formula papers after all. Uh, this is a mess. I mean, really. Just when we thought everything was cleared up, she comes and spoils it. Well, no use crying over milk that's been spilled. Well, we'd better get back to the cabin and see just what did happen. They're going to have a mighty tough time to make a quick takeoff to clear those trees. There they go. Maybe they'll crack up. Wouldn't that be wonderful? They just made it. Yes, but they did make it. Well, they've gone. Uh, let's go back to the cabin. I suppose everybody's feeling pretty low about all this. Come on, April. Looks like we drew a big zero for our head. Hello, Doctor. Think you can sit up and take some nourishment? I have some hot soup here. Don't know exactly what it is, but it smells good. Any food from your hands will be welcome to my humble self, Mr. Hennick. Well, you need some strength. <laughs> ah, now then. You sit up? Uh, wait, I'll set this tray down and give you a hand. <laughs> I'm not much of a nurse, but I'll try. Uh, you have given me great comfort, sir. Uh, now then, uh, maybe you'd better feed yourself. Huh? I know I hate to have people feed me. I I am humbly grateful for saving my life. Oh, we only did what anybody would do. Unless I am mistaken, you had visitors... Not more than a quarter hour back? Why, yes, we did. The dragon lady, was it not? And one of her agents? You, uh, you heard them then? It, it was kind of you not to tell me of their unpleasant visit. You wish to spare me or worry? Well, we thought that later on, when you were stronger... We... I, I will not quote any words of ancient wisdom to you, my friend. For your heart... And the hearts of your friends are right. Yet I am glad that I have been able to overhear what has happened. And now, now, you better eat your soup. We can talk about things later on. You, you also wish to spare me the inconvenience of being abducted in an airplane. Is it not that so? Well, yes. There's only one doctor more than. But there are many gas formulas. Is that it? You seem to know all that's happened, sir, so I'd better explain just what happened. There, there is no need to. Correct me if I make mistakes. You gave the dragon lady the secret gas formulas which were entrusted to you by General Chang for me? That's right. 
you did that rather than let these enemies take me away as a prisoner, huh? Yes. Of course, of course you realize that Mr. Hook is an expert chemist. He can read those formulas of... Uh, yes? Come in. Do you mind if you come in, please? April's with me. Well, it's all up the back of uh, but, but yes, please, please join me. Come on in, April. Sit down. If you can find room on the floor, sit down. Well, we don't want to butt in, but honestly, we feel low as anything. Yes. We went to the Dragon Lady's plane and tried to fix it so it couldn't get away, but we didn't have time. The came and started shooting, and we... I didn't ask Pat or Burma what happened there out in the kitchen with Connie. What did happen, Mr. Hennig? Well, it was a question of the gas formula papers with Dr. Moy Ben, so I gave the envelope to the Dragon Lady. How do you feel, Doctor? Oh, my gratitude to you, Miss King, to everyone for saving my life. I have reason to feel most happy. Well, the dragon lady put a fog over my day, I'll say that. She walked in here and walked out with those formula papers. Now Kennington Hook can go ahead and make Moy Ben gas. Yes, yes, that is true. But my life has been spared. And I am glad to know even the most unpleasant news. Oh, dear. I suppose we'll have to go chasing them all over China to get those papers back. No, no. I don't think so. But they're valuable. Don't you want them back? Well, folks, I'll tell you a little story, shall I? A story? A yeah, true story. You see, I was in here with Dr. Moy Ben when the dragon lady came in the, out of the room with Keel. I heard all that went on. Well, so did Terry and me. We were behind the door leading to the kitchen. Let's do tell his story, April. Well, as soon as I knew what she was after, well, I went to the hollow log where the formula papers were in the envelope. Yeah. And when I went out in the big room with my hands up, well, Hook searched me and found the envelope. Well, why did you do that? No, well, wait, let me finish. As soon as Hook saw the envelope, he was satisfied. He shoved it in his pocket and off they went. He, the dragon lady, and Hook. Well, what kind of a story is that? Well, it's a perfect ending to a Christmas week, Terry. <laughs> the last old dude was using his head. And as a result, there's no bones broken. Here, Dr. Morvan. Uh, Here's your Christmas present. A little late, but it's all for you. Why, these... Why, yes, formulas. Why, yes. I don't get it, dude. It's very simple, Terry. Like doing a card trick. Very simple. I simply put some odds and ends of paper in that envelope, the one that Hook took away from me. He saw the envelope, recognized it, and never thought to look inside. Well, that's amazing. So, when that threesome are flying through the air, laughing over their easy visit here, well, Mr. Hook will think to open the envelope, and all he'll find he can stick in his eye. <laughs> if he won't think I'm so stupid, no. Yippee! Boy, oh boy, what a <laughs> trick! Hey, does Pat and Burma know about this? No, not yet. I was saving it as a pleasant surprise. Besides, I'm a very modest chap, and when I do a smart bit of work, I get embarrassed about it. You mind if I tell them? They'll be cheered up. Okay. I'll go with you, Terry. Oh, dear, everything's all right again. I'll say it is. Well, let's keep an eye open so they don't come back. I, I am Chinese, Mr. Hennick, but I don't think it amiss if I wish you... A very merry Christmas. And may God bless you for what you have done. Oh, that's all right, Doctor. Bless Beth, it's about time I used my head for something more than a place to hang my hat. And if it happens around Christmas time, well, okay. Now, come on, come on. Eat your soup before it gets cold. Well, that's a mighty clever wind-up to what looked like real bad luck for our friend. But I wonder if the dragon lady will return. I'm afraid she's going to be in a rage when she discovers how Jude fooled her. But there's a new adventure awaiting Terry and his pals, and I'll tell you a bit about it in just a moment. Just a reminder, boys and girls, you're going to ask your mother to get some Libby's pineapple juice and give the family something new for breakfast. They'll like it all right, all right. Libby's pineapple juice just about has the world beat for flavor. And it's a refreshing flavor that pricks you up and starts the day off right. So remember the name, Libby's Hawaiian Pineapple Juice. And ask your mother right now to get some soon for breakfast. And try Libby's tomato juice, too. It's well-tasting 
and rich in important vitamin C. Well, next Monday, Pat Ryan and Terry are going to be offered a job that promises the most dangerous kind of adventure. A job that spells action and peril all at the same time. But it's so fascinating that, well, I'll bet even you would like to get in on it. So keep your appointment in China next Monday for the start of a new and thrilling transcribed adventure with Harry and the Pirates. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just $2.79. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.